Hey YouTube, coming at you with a Spring Cup team that I felt was generally safe because it felt like I could pivot anywhere I needed to. So Tentacruel, Poison Drive, Aspiray, Shadow, and then Double Grass, Trevenant, and Ferrothorn. And I feel like Trevenant and Ferrothorn, their secondary typings really carry them in this meta. Uh, the Steel typing obviously resisting um, Fairy moves, and it also um, helps neutralize some other like Steel type moves and stuff like that. And then Trevenant um, and Ice. Sorry, Ice was, uh, was to say. There's there was an obvious one in here. Ice. Ferrothorn neutralizes Ice. Trevenant is weak to Ice, but you do have Seed Bomb uh, to deal with that. And then Shadow Claws add up in usual situation. So pretty strong overall. Um, Trevenant and Ferrothorn, I think, are both good safe swaps. Dugong comes in. Uh, I'm probably going to just farm up. Yeah, farm up and then get out of here into uh, Ferrothorn. Because Ferrothorn neutralizes both drill run and icy wind so they hit me with the icy wind that's fine let's get a power whip off lowered my attack so maybe it won't take out from this range uh but they shield i guess they're trying to lower it again maybe grab a shield back um just go drill run yeah drill run is neutral uh question is now will i still be able to take it out that you've only lowered my attack once and i Ooh, we both take each other at the same time. So I know I have a good matchup. Either way, Trevenant with a shield advantage should be able to take out... Um, we'll let Fate decide. Uh, Fate decided Tentacruel into their Quagsire, so that's unfortunate. I will hit them with the Scald. Um, and then come in here and start getting ahead on energy. And then just know that with, like... That was pretty quick, so it's not an overheat. Could be a Brutal Swing, which will still do super effective. Uh, but just knowing energy advantage here... Should be okay to take this matchup. They let it go. So there's the one shot. Come in here. Grab a shield. Uh, unlikely that they can mud shot me down. Resisted from this range. So they're probably going to have to dump some energy. And at this point I can just go to shield tender curl with the skull to win. So grab one shield for me. I think they threw both shields if I remember. Like both moves. Maybe they didn't know how many shields I had. Maybe they thought their win con was me losing connection. All those are possible, but two shielded take this first match. And now they quit on out. Okay. Okay. Next. Tench Cruel. Obama Snow. Great, great lead. Uh, they'll have to pivot into something, and they pivot into a Rose Raid. Um, so, this is where it gets interesting. I don't... Rose Raid's going to probably kill both my backline with the Weather Balls. Um, but the Abomasnow is also going to cause my backline some problems. So, I've got to kind of stay in here, get this out of the way. Switch Clock is not up yet. Like, so if they come in with something else, I'm going to have to pivot into one of my other two immediately. And it's a water, so I will pivot immediately into Trevenant. Trevenant is not the one to pivot into in this situation. Why are you taking Super Effective Shadow Claws when you can come in Ferrothorn and hit Super Effective with Bolt Seed and not take Super Effective Claws? That is what I'm asking myself in this moment, being like, why did you just do that? Um, Obama Snow comes in, so that is okay. Again, you neutralize the ice. Have a Flash Cannon, which basically one-shots, so goodbye. And at this point... It is now just a fast move damage team. So there's no... They got two shields. There's no point of throwing a charge move um, when your fast move is going to take this low enough and then the poison jab fast move. Hero may throw a move. No, not even. Just take it out. I was going to say, I could throw an acid spray to lower their defense. That's the only move I would throw there. Otherwise, it's just a fast move damage down. Okay, Ferrothorn's a bad matchup, so I got to pivot. And I'll probably pivot into Trevenant. And they pivot into Tentacruel. Okay, so did not expect that, um, unless they're running in like an ABB, but you had such a good lead there, I don't know why you pivot. Ferrothorn like kills, uh, kills Tentacruel, because Steel double resists Poison. So I did grab a shield, which is nice. Um, they're going to try and farm down, so I'll grab a second one here, or take this out. Either is a good scenario. So they do double shield. So I think, what, is, what do I do next? Yeah, Ferrothorn, right? Because I, I, I just said that Ferrothorn has a, such a good matchup against Tentacruel because everything's resisted. 
So resisted, yes, they are going to lower my defense times two, and they can either lower my defense times four or hit me with a two times lowered scald, which probably hurts a lot. Yeah, so that's probably the smart move there. Um, I'm just saving two shields. Let's see what comes in. I am just going to try and reset immediately on this. Um, jeez. It's probably just weather ball. These are going to start adding up with the wing attacks, though, is my only concern. And it's not like I can throw a Scald here. Maybe I should throw a Scald in these situations instead of this, because they could just reset on this. And yeah, I probably should have thrown the Scald. I should do a chip damage as opposed to this one where I'm just... Whatever. Um, lowering their defense times two... Again, I'm going to have to burn one of my shields here. No, I'm going to try and go two shield Ferrothorn. Uh, I don't like this play. I know what I'm thinking. Trying to get off of Flash Cannon when their attack, when their defense is lowered, will put this within Power Whip range. And if I can have a Power Whip loaded for the Pelipper, I can double take these guys out. Um... But I think what I should have done is probably, like, because now I'm dry on energy and they're just going to outpace me now to the power whip. So what I probably should have done is, after I lowered their, oh, no, I do, I do take it. Okay. Close, though. I still think I probably should have, like, scalded, two times the word scald. We saw how much that did, and then get in there with one shield on Ferrothorn, and I think that would have been better. So bad lead. Again, I have two grass. That's fine. My game lagged a bit, so I took three sparks unnecessarily. And they come in with uh, nine tails. So I'm just going to bait the C bum here. So I keep using Trevenant as a safe swap, but Trevenant can get way more punished in, in a meta with a lot of ice. Ferrothorn. Yes, there's Matt. Well, I, so the reason I'm putting him Trevenant is like, yes, Trevenant can get hurt. I should have just went Shadow Ball to do chip or grab a shield that's like my number one rule when you're in that situation just throw the heavier move to grab a shield or do big chip um i think and running side shock is actually very smart on this because there's tentacles everywhere so i'm gonna have to instant swap into ferrothorn and air grenade those bug buzz are bug bites are neutral and those are gonna add up so i'll probably lose this um, safe swap. The trade-off between Ferrothorn and Trevenant as a safe swap is Trevenant, you can get punished more easily because there's way, way, way more uh, ice in this meta than there are fire. So ice will come. There's lots of ice. We, we already saw a couple um, there. Ninetales, Dugongs, um, Obama's Nose. So they can easily punish Trevenant as opposed to the Steel on Ferrothorn would neutralize those matchups. The problem is, if you come Ferrothorn, yes, you have way more neutral matchups, but then you have way more just like worse matchups. So if you get hit with a Mawal um, or a Rose Raid that can just one shot you with Fire Move, it just, it's like an instant loss to those Pokemon. Whereas opposed to Trevenant is like a loss, but you'll chip. So I don't know. I think either works. I think PV Poke um, did say Ferrothorn is the better safe swap. Um, whoa. So neither of them are technically good switches here. Pelipper, Weezing, Tentacruel, Roserade, Superior, Empoleon, Galisopod, Groval, Abomasnow, Venusaur, Celio, Airquinid. Ferrothorn, 17. Trevenant, 20. So they're actually pretty comparable. And actually, non-shadow Ferrothorn is 21. So Trevenant is the better safe swap overall. Um, Pelipper. I don't know. I just talked about how strong Lantern is yesterday. Um, so I don't know if I want to go <laughs> with Lantern as a safe swap. Um I'm sorry, Pelper with the safe swap with, with all those lanterns out there. Um, at least with Tentacruel, you can like poison jab and acid spray combo there and at least try and do chip. Weezing I used, maybe I'll try using, because again, this, this, this is on next week as well. 
So we're going to have to try out a bunch of teams. So Weezing is one I'll try. I'm trying to do like Ultra League this week with it. So um, I had an Ultra League team this morning on Talonflame. Uh, you're going to see one tomorrow with Zapdos. Um, where am I here? I just uploaded the Talonflame for Tuesday morning. This is going to be my Tuesday afternoon. Zapdos for Wednesday morning, and I don't have another one for Wednesday after noon yet. I think I'm going to just do mostly Ultra League this week. Um, I'm comboing it. I did two here and three Ultra League so far. But again, when Master League is on and this is on next week, I don't want to just like put out every single freaking team possible and then have nothing to show next week, right? Because we're going to have to do some teams of this next week. So there are Pokemon on this list that I want to try next week. Uh, we, I'll try Weezing again. I want to try Rose Raid. And I want to try Galisopod. Um, I think those are all going to be interesting to try. I should build up a bad IV Tropius. I have a bunch of Tropius from like uh, GoFest and stuff that I just have not built up because they all have terrible, terrible IVs. But maybe I should just bite the bullet and build one up. It's been so many seasons. And I have the candy and I have the dust. And Carpink. Carpink is one that I haven't tested yet. That, uh, it's scary to bring Carpink into a water and grass meta when you're weak to both. But you do have the bulk and not... I mean, Ferrothorn will re Ferrothorn resist everything, so that's the thing. You probably have to lead Carpink because you can't have a Ferrothorn on it because then you just get walled and you're just going to get killed. So if you want to play with Carpink, you have to lead it to avoid Ferrothorn. But yeah, but anyways, there's a couple of Pokemon that we can still test next week um, and do some things. And then there's Master League, which like, God. What, what I just don't understand with why they did this is there are, they're repeating. Spring Cup is a repeat. That's fine. I don't, I don't mind them repeating leagues. What I just don't understand is why they would put this back to back like you have probably 50 plus uh like cups and limited cup in your in your like folder over the years so it makes no sense why you would have two weeks of one cup when these things only last one week like it again i remember when weeks for those of you who are maybe newer to pvp um back in the day it was actually a two week turnover so you would have weeks on a leagues on for two weeks and that would get very 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 stale so for example may today is march 8th to 5th this week is march 8th to 15th ultra league and spring cup it would be two weeks of that march 8th to march 22nd of spring cup and then the next one would be two weeks of master league plus another thing for two weeks so the problem was from definitely from a content creator standpoint um you'd have like a big rush of like three to four days where everyone wants teams. But then by the second week, people are just so sick of the leagues that no one watches and anything. So they went to the one week and I love the one weeks, but it just doesn't make sense to do a cup back to back. Like it defeats the purpose. What's the point of having a one week league if you're putting it on two weeks in a row? The only thing I would say that shouldn't apply for is like great league. Sure. You can go great league open multiple weeks in a row. Cause that's the widest open meta and everyone has and the most accessible but for the rest of this i don't i don't understand why you do back to back here and it's the same thing april 5th to 12th is ultra league and jungle cup great league and then april 12th to 19th is the same thing master league and jungle cup great league so they're repeating what they did this week and next week with spring cup with jungle cup in april it's just i th honestly I, th I think it's just laziness i think it's laziness that they just don't want to put in like a second cup and reprogram for the week or whatever they just take just keep it going i just i can't imagine it's hard to do that but it just nah anyways all that to say is this week ultra league and spring cup and next week pure spring cup and then maybe if people send me some uh master league videos link in the description if you want to send me some battles i will showcase us a, a master league or two otherwise uh it's gonna be a pretty limited, pretty limited uh, week.
for videos. But next week is open everything, Great League, Ultra League, and Master League. Like the following week is Great League, Ultra League, Master League. And I already have like three to four more Great League teams that I haven't showcased yet. And then Ultra Premier. Ultra Premier will be really fun, I think. Yeah. The thing with Ultra Premier is, so Premier is yes, Excel, but no Legendary. So if you go to uh, no Legendary, no Mythical, and stuff like that. So if you go to Legendary on PvP, um, there's a quite a lot of Legendary Pokemon in the top 20 for Ultra League, right? So you have Registeel, Giratina Altered, Zygarde, you don't see a bunch of those, but Cresselia, Virizion, Tapufini, Kapalian, Regirock, and then you got Zapdos there too. And then I like using Armour Mewtwo, but that's basically it. So put in those, put in Mythical, Defense Deoxys, and then put in Ultra Beasts. Is that what they're called? Myth, uh, I forget what they're called. But like Guzzlord and stuff like that. Um, so they'll take quite a lot of Pokemon out. Now that said, XLs are still allowed. So some of your still made Meta, Polyrath, Pidgeot, Manabuzz. Skarmory, Talonflame, Lantern, Pelipper, Jelson, Tentacruel um, are still all there. Trevenant. But you'll get some like, I think stuff like Scrafty, um, stuff in like the 50 to 60s that you would otherwise not use in Ultra League really. Scrafty, Galarian Stunfisk, um, Politoed, Toxicroak. I think those will probably all come out double. I think all of those will come out a lot more in Ultra Premier. So I think an Ultra, Ultra Premier, Premier will be pretty interesting. Anyways, that is it um, for this team. Yeah, like I said, I think it's a strong team. Debatable whether I'll be out your safe swap here, but I think it worked overall. Anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.